Praise the Lord. Hello, Liam. Hello, everybody. God bless you. Uh, today, also I'm preaching the gospel here. Nice weather. Enjoy the sunshine. Preach the gospel to the nations. God bless you. Thank you very much. People are walking here. This is only one way. Our God has given to preach the gospel to everybody. Before I start to preach this gospel, I want to pray for everybody. Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody. Those are watching online, those are walking in the city center. I bless and keep them. Thank you for keeping them in your glory. Spiritually and physically, all the areas of the life, Heavenly Father, bless them. The people are broken hearted. The people are lost something. Heavenly Father, thank you for your touching each one of them in your name. Thank you for your raising up lots of revivalists from the city center. From this place to the nations. Thank you for your healing the sick people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. You say I'm going to sing a couple of songs right now. I can pray for you. You want to pray? You want to pray? I'm calling you. If you want, I can pray for you. You want to pray? Come on, like. Any you know other sick people are walking here, most welcome. I'll pray for you. Wonderful time. Wonderful sunshine. <laughs> we are enjoying. Come on, come on. Come on. 
I am also engaged in this function. I am preaching this. Come on, come on. Preaching this powerful gospel to the nations. What is the gospel? Gospel is a living God. Praise the Lord. This is what today I am preaching to each one of you. The purpose of birth of Jesus Christ in this world to get each and every people eternal life. Praise the Lord. Eternal life is a life. Whichever God is granting to each one of you. Those who are believing in Him. Praise the Lord. is free. Eternal life is free. Everlasting life is free. Salvation is free. Everything is free in the name of Jesus. I want to sing one more song right now. Praise the Lord. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. Lord, you are great. Praise the Lord. Gospel John Bible says, The birth of Jesus Christ in this world This was the greatest love which the Heavenly Father was showing towards each and every people those who are living in this world Praise the Lord That is what the Bible says. The Father in the heaven. Our Heavenly Father, He so loved the world.
because of what is it? because of the greatness and love of the Lord. Our God was sent. His only son to the world. To get each and every people eternal life. Praise the Lord. Bible says, as many as received, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God has given a right, a power to become the children of God. To each one of you. Not only for one person. But to each and every people. Those who are living in this world. This is a good news. I am preaching to each one of you, those who are walking here. each and every people. So Bible says, any of the sick people are working here, most welcome. I can pray for you, one more. Any of the sick people, praise the Lord. Because I'm preaching gospel. This gospel is a powerful gospel. Wherever I'm preaching, this power, it will get manifest among the people. So the people are working here. Whenever you are hearing this gospel, you are not only hearing the gospel heard, but you are receiving the power of the gospel in you as well. Bible says, by believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you are the children of God. God. 
This is what I want to preach today to each and every people. There are five important things that happen after the death of Jesus Christ in this world. The first thing, we have got a position called the children, the father and son relationship. The second thing, I want to say to each one of you, we all are the heroes to receive all the blessings through Jesus Christ. What are the blessings? Which of God has given to Abraham, Jacob and David? These blessings. You are getting through Jesus Christ today. Praise the Lord. In the Old Testament, all the people, they were under the law of Moses. But in the New Testament, After the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We all are living in this world by the grace of God. God bless you. Jesus Christ loves everybody. So, the grace of God, that means the grace of God will protect to overcome the situation. What are the things which is coming against your life? You are getting the protection from the God's grace. This is the gospel. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You want to pray? You have a sickness, I can pray for you. And the pastor, if you want to have a sickness, I can pray for you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. In all the Testament, in the Old Testament, all the children of Israel, they were under the wrath of God. But after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ,
lost your life. Everything is just gone. Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, you are the new creation. That means, if you are born again today, if you are the child of God today, Bible says, you are the protected person, person by the grace of God. Bible says, if you are the new creation, Bible says, you are the righteousness of the Lord. Righteousness of the law. Which way we can become the righteousness of the law? This is a question. This is a simple question. Come on, I can pray for you. I can pray for you. Come on, I can pray for you. I can pray. Brother Kavai, thank you for hearing, madam. What do you mean? Heavenly Father, I pray for Brother John right now. I pray for the brother right now to get more blessings in the brother's life, in the John life. In spiritually and physically, all the other life. Any kind of depression, any kind of anxieties, any kind of pains, any kind of sickness from this body, I find, I cast out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Say Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, everybody. Praise the Lord. So each and every people. I want to say to each and every people. If you are the new creation. Bible says. You are the righteousness of the Lord. How we can become the righteousness of the Lord. of the law. Only one way we can become the righteousness of the Lord by believing this God is your Lord and Savior. Wonderful and powerful gospel. Okay. Thank you for it. This is a great time our God has given to you morning to hear this powerful gospel. Righteousness of the Lord you are getting today by your faith in God. Praise the Lord. So, I want to encourage to each and every people, the people are walking here. Our God has chosen you before your birth to preach the gospel to each and every people. Because of the COVID-19, in the year of 2020, 
in the year of 2021 and the year of 2022. But you all are here by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. When I'm preaching this powerful gospel to each and every people today, I want to convince to each and every people the love of God and the purpose of Jesus Christ towards you and me. Come on. I can pray for a child. Come on. I can take pray for a child. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everybody, if you are in Christ Jesus, Bible says, there is no condemnation at all those who are in Christ Jesus. This is a good news and powerful gospel today. I'm preaching to each one of you. There is no condemnation at all those who are in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Come, come on. You should get house. Come, come on, come on. That's it. You are on. Come on. Come on, come on. Be in touch with me, okay? Praise the Lord. There is a condemnation those who are not in Christ Jesus. Okay? God bless you. Bible says, the death and life of our God has come before you. You can choose whatever you want today. Come on, come on. Give me someone. What is the death and what is life? What is the death and what is life? The death that means The entertainment revival. The people, those who are walking here, you are most welcome. You can come and take this gospel right. Whenever you are taking this gospel right, you are also doing the world to revive. Because we all are standing in the middle of the world to revive. So, book of Acts, Bible says, under the heaven and earth, we all are getting salvation under only in one name, that is Jesus Christ's name. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no salvation. Without the name of Jesus Christ, there is no healing. Without the name of Jesus Christ, there is no deliverance. Bible says, Everything is there, all in one, in Jesus Christ. I'm preaching this powerful God to each and every people. Bible says, we are blessed. Book of Ephesians. That the one. Verse 3, Bible says, we are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Praise the Lord. To make you spread to stand in front of the heavenly Father. God bless you. Can I pray for you? I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. I can pray for you. You know the people who need the prayer. You can come forward. Never lose your opportunity. Tomorrow I won't be here. Only today I'm here. Tomorrow I will be some other place. Never lose your opportunity. I want to say to each and every people, 
Anybody help the sickness? You are most welcome. You can come forward. I can pray for you. God will heal. Healing is a natural problem. Deliverance is a natural problem. Eternal life is a gift. Which of God is giving to each and every people, freely to each and every people. Praise the Lord. This is why today I am preaching to each and every people. Again, Bible says, Book of Colossians. Bible says, We were far away from the glory of the Lord. One day, it was like that. But in Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, by the love of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, each and every people, you could be able to come and stand in front of the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says, now you are not at all, not as strangers, but you are the children of God living in the families of the Lord. Come on, in. come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going, come on. In. You can greet somebody. Read. Read and say, Amen, I mean, you are getting eternal. I'm, I'm also like you, but I'm preaching God. Praise the Lord. I know some people joke. But later on you will come to know, later on you will come to know the power of the Lord. Because his gospel is so powerful. I am preaching this gospel because of my experience in Christ Jesus. Today may be a sovereign of sickness today. Maybe you are suffering the loneliness today. You want to pray one minute? Come for it. I can pray for you. Come for it. Love of God. This Jesus Christ will never leave you, no forsake you. This is what today I want to say to each and every people. Love, praise the Lord. So I want to say to each and every people, this God is a merciful God. This God's nature is a loving kindness. The nature of God is he will never leave you, no forsake. In Jesus' name, she cast out right now. I declare the perfect healing right now. In Jesus' name, spiritual blessings right now. In Jesus' name, she cast out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Say today. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Any other people need the prayer request? Today, I'm standing here only to say Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ is not a prophet. This is what I want to preach today. 
to each and every people. Jesus Christ is not a problem. Jesus Christ is a living God. Book of Psalms, chapter 23, Bible says, The goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. What language is that? Praise the Lord. In the Bible, in all the areas of the life of Apostle Paul, he was the greatest of prosecutor. But when he came to know the power and glory of the Lord, what he did, he was saying, by the revelation of the Holy Spirit, the Christ is in you, the hope of glory. The glory is glory sitting in your heart today. Come on. Today people are walking here. Only one thing. I want to say to each and every people. What all the peoples Whatever they were waiting to get in their heart in the Old Testament. But we have God, we have received through Christ Jesus in our heart. That is the hope of God. Praise the Lord. So all the people are walking here. Before I end this session, I want to encourage to each and every people the power and the love of God and the miracle of the Lord. If you are having sick today, Bible says, you are healed by the strength of Jesus Christ. By His strength, you are healed. Healing, it has already happened 2022 years before at the cross of Calvary. Now I want to encourage to each and every people. This is your time to receive the healing and the deliverance. This is a time to receive all the four promises which is written in the Bible to fulfill in your life. I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for each one of them. That's what the people are walking here. The people are here in this world. Heavenly Father, especially many of the sick people are walking here. Heavenly Father, thank you for your touching their heart, their body, their mind right now in Jesus' name. I declare the healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare a greatest revival from the city center to the nation right now in Jesus' name. Once again more, thank you for your sending your heavenly angels for the revival from the city center to the nation. Once again more, I pray for each one of them in Jesus' name. Of them. Amen. God bless you everybody. Thank you for hearing that of God. Wonderful word of God. I will be hearing again. I will be coming here again to preach the gospel in future. So God bless you everybody. Thank you very much.